Hello students, in this video we'll discuss several recursive formulas for complete and temporary expected lifetimes. So if we're given a random variable, tx, for a future lifetime, then we can define ex with a circle on top as the expected value of tx, and ex without a circle to be the expected value of the floor of Tx, that's the curtate expected value. And so now what we'll do is the following. If we look at the discrete random variable, Ex, that is the expected value of the floor of Tx, and another way of writing this, we can also write this as Kx, so this is the expected value of Kx, and that is the sum from zero to infinity of K times k bar qx. We also saw a different representation of this is the sum. k goes from 1 to infinity of k px. And so now we use the following fact. We can use the fact that pxn is px with a 1 there, which we'll suppress, px plus 1, px plus 2, all the way down to px plus n minus 1. So we can succinctly write this in the following way as the product j goes from 1 to n minus 1 of j px. And so what we can note then is if we write out the first couple terms in this series, the first couple terms in this series over here will be px plus px2 plus px3, etc. And so what we can do from this is we can write this as full, pull a px out of everything. So we'll have a px, and then we'll have a 1 plus px plus 1 plus, and then we'll have a px plus 1 px plus 2, and then a px plus 1 px plus 2 px plus 3, etc. And so what we see over here is we can look at these terms, and these terms over here will represent Ex plus 1. So we have the relationship that this is equal to Px times 1 plus Ex plus 1. So we have this recursion relationship now. Let me write this on top over here. So we can advance one step in the future as long as we multiply the probability of survival. So the probability that a person age x has these levels of survival is the probability you survive one year, that corresponds to the one, and then times the probability you survive past a year times the expected li curtate lifetime for x plus one. We can do similar sorts of things with different levels. We can consider e x n plus m, for example, with their circle or a bar. We can write this as e x n plus the probability of survival, so that'd be a px n, and then the temporary expected life of x. Now x is now aged x plus n, and must go m steps further. We can equally well write e x n plus m, the same thing with a circle, is equal to e x n circle plus the same survival ship probability, tpx, and then we'll have a e circle x plus n m. When we start to do problems with annuities, what will happen over here is we'll also have to accumulate interest on these things and get different representations. Now, of course, we can take a formula like this and continue on. So we can know that e x plus 1, for example, is going to be a p x plus 1, 1 plus e x plus 2, and now we can combine these relationships. We can therefore say that e x is equal to p x, and then that will be times 1 plus p x plus 1 times the quantity 1 plus e x plus 2. And if we sort of manipulate this algebraically, we have, so we have px and then 1 plus px plus 1, and then plus px plus 1, ex plus 2, for example. And so then what we see here is we see this is going to be equal to ex 
implies that ex is equal to px plus px, px plus 1, and then plus px, px plus 1, ex plus 2. And we can continue on with this pattern over and over again and just keep writing down the recursive explanation for this, and then we get the formula for any level of steps we wish. Thank you very much.